what is happening and welcome to another photography talk episode actually today is the next the it's the continuation of our three weeks ago we did our first photo towel print review and today is going to be the continuation the next chapter of that so in a moment we're going to be cracking open actually this here box and we're going to take a look at some photo tiles now we we started doing our first photo tile uh shootout well, actually, this is the first video version of it. We've reviewed some various uh, 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 photo tile companies a few years back, uh, or actually a couple years ago, and then we did it again last year. And yeah, these things have turned into quite the popular trend with a lot of photographers, a lot of people, a lot of parents and so forth. And so in a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to crack open this box. I'm going to share with you everything from A to Z about this, what I like, what I dislike. You may agree, you may not. But ultimately, at the end of the day, if you decide to go out there and spend your hard-earned hard money on photo towels from, this is from uh, Snaptop. I don't know why I, I looked at the box. I already knew who it was from, but um, you know what your money's going to get you. And so if you find some value with this video, of course, friends, you know the whole routine with this here. If you could hit that like button, crush the hell out of it down below, it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, pull up a seat in. Let's go. All right, so for the last couple of years, let me find a knife. This company has been really kicking tail end. I absolutely love the ingenuity and the design, the simplicity of these tiles. Um, plus, I think from a print quality standpoint, these have really shined a lot brighter than some of the others. No pun intended. <clears throat> okay. And actually what I'm going to do, pop these on the ground. One thing I really like about these prints is, whereas the other print, the tiles that we've tested, once you put them onto the wall, it's, you know, you have limited number of times that you can move them. Like with the uh, mixed tiles I shared with you. That is each one of the mixed tiles has a sticky surface on the back. So one of the things I do want to point out that I just absolutely love about these prints here is, we're, we're seeing part of it right there, is the modularity is, you know, one of the things I said last year, hanging up photos, you know, or no, let me rephrase it. Since when is hanging up photos supposed to be fun? My son absolutely loves these things because as you will find out here in a moment, these prints here, they have these magnets in them that makes it so much fun to hang these things up. And the cool part about these is I'm trying to put out a handful of these here so therefore I can get a sense of print quality and all that other fun stuff. So one of the things that I dislike about mixed tiles, for example, is I don't like that you have, oops. So that is, that one goes there, that one goes there. I don't like that you have, you have that tape on the back. With these here, you have a single anchor point that you put into like a center point onto the wall. And then from there, you find whichever print that you want to be your kind of the, the core, the center. And there's perforated little hole here that you would chop out, put it onto there. Now there is sticky and you can actually put uh, thumbtacks on there. And I seem to remember they advise when you go over 12 of these things that you want to get it, put a couple couple tacks in there. So a couple tacks and that's it. Um, they, the mounting hardware is actually quite ingenious here. You have instructions in the background. It's, it has a built-in level, which is pretty awesome so it takes the guesswork out of that but this is let me crack open the other box here so these right here reason why i think these things are just an absolute blast or what they have been in the past we'll see what the quality of these things look like this year but so far the print quality looks oh sweet they sent a second one that I did not expect. So one of the things, okay. So packaging is pretty straightforward with these. You have some foam that's been wrapped around 
and the box is decent quality. Same thing with the other box as well. So, and these things are, are very light to begin with. And one of the things I'm noticing here, right up the get-go, is I'm not sure if they if they change their printers, but the colors on this here, the print quality of these actually look very, very good. And what I'm doing here, and while I'm putting this together, uh, friends, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the corners of these, because all this is, this is a cardboard, it's a cardboard box, and I presume they have magnets running along the edges here, which allows it, well, if you haven't noticed here, here, let me, let me put these here. Oh, it's funny. My pen got stuck. Oh, it's sticking to everything. Uh-oh. It's not sticking. The magnets are doing what they're supposed to. Those are some strong magnets in these things. Okay. All right. So here is, here's the fun with these things here. You can see everything's held together by magnets. And if you look at the colors here, the colors, while I was laying these things out, the colors look very, the colors look very, very good. Yeah, it's funny. Here's one of those shots here. There's a, uh, a ice cream place around the corner, and I just happened to get the shot. Uh, Caleb, this was taken two years ago. He's patiently waiting, because what they do is they make the ice cream fresh in front of the kids, and that's what all that that uh, smoke is coming from there. And I, I really like this photo because you have this neon sign right here. You have the, kind of the purple light that's being picked up from the smoke right there. And he's patiently waiting and you can actually see his reflection right there. Actually reflection of the lights as well. I really like this shot. But these guys really have a interesting process and which has gained a lot of traction I see with with photographers out there because this right here when you when you factor in you plant you plant your anchor onto the wall and then you have just an imp well we're gonna in a moment we'll go into where my little my testing wall is and we'll hang this up but you'll see what I'm talking about and the reason why these things get a lot of attention is people can actually you can design your frame your your little frame that you're you're putting up onto the wall or how you have these things structured on there. And again, I'm continually looking at the colors here. These turn out really, really fantastic. So, and the colors look good. The colors, the print look better than last year. So again, I'm wondering if they, they changed. They were good last year, uh, but I'm noticing a noticeable difference in the print quality. Because when you, when you buy a print like this, you pick it up expecting it, it's gonna be what it is. They sell these things, I think uh, $59, you get four of these tiles here. So we're not talking about you know showroom gallery prints, but dang, these things actually look pretty good. Now, what we're gonna do here in a moment is, as I mentioned a moment ago, we're gonna turn off the cameras here in the studio. We're gonna jump over into, I have a guest room here that will has a blank wall on it. And I think currently it has the mixed tile, uh, mixed tile tiles on it. So we'll remove those, we'll set up the cameras and uh, we'll, uh, Play show and tell with getting these things set up so you can get an idea as far as what to expect with these. Yeah, these look pretty darn good. Now let's get into the other room and have some fun hanging these things up. All right, friends, now it's that time where we're going, this is my, my test wall here. And so we're going to remove the mixed towel tiles and we're going to put up the snap towel tiles. First, we got to put this anchor up to start things off. When we put that there, we will pull these off and I will find 
some place I can place these. Few moments later. All right, I had to find a place to put those. Okay, so I am going to crack the packaging open. So again, the cool part with the snap tile, they give the instructions and they also give, okay, cool. Step one, choose a tile that you would like to be the anchor tile. Okay, that's gonna be your center point. Then tear off, again, it has those two perforated, let's, let's you know what? I think this photo right here. I think this one would be appropriate because the circle, he's in the center. So, we're going to follow the instructions here. You're going to tear out the center. Tear out. Only this tile will be mounted on the wall. Okay. Okay, easy enough. Step two, peel liner off self-adhesive. Okay, so. Peel liner off self-adhesive, place wall mount on desired location of the wall, blah, 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 and then press firmly on each strip for 10 seconds. This step is very important to secure it to the wall. For additional support, you can use tacks or screws, which I have two of them in my pocket here. Uh, let's see, step three, align the interway, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and basically mount it out there. All right, simple enough. So you have these little sticky pieces here that we're going to remove, one, Two, three, four. Okay, we're going to put this, and again, because this has the level right into it, it takes the guesswork out of it. So, there we go. Boom, that is perfect. Okay. They said hold that for 10 seconds, which is important for this thing to stick onto the wall properly. So I have no idea where 10 seconds is, but I'm guessing it would be right about now. Okay, boom. Now I have a couple handy dandy tacks, which we will put into this here. One and two. Okay, boom. Now, those two slots there, we're going to put it up and over. Let's see, we're gonna put that up and over. Yeah, okay, and then we just push it down. Oops. There we go. Boom, fantastic. Now comes the fun part. This is where you get to. So, this is the part that is such a blast. You can set this up however your little artistic side of you wants to uh, that's still in frame okay we're out of frame so I gotta keep building this a little bit down And boom, just like that. Friends, it is, it is really that simple. You know, and I said this earlier in this video, and I said it last year as well. Hanging up, hanging up photos is not supposed to be fun like this, but it is. And this is one of the reasons why this is made, these tiles right here, personally why they resonate so, I, I can see why so many people really click with these here because it's more of a more of a connection. And then with, you know, for example, my son or my wife, they can arrange these in a way that suits their creative vision for that particular time and they can change it up. Unlike other, other uh, photo tiles that we've tested out there, once it's up there, it is, to some degree up there. Now granted, you have mixed tiles with the, the stickers. Actually, all the other companies out there have those stickers behind it that you can move them, or they say you can move it a few times, but you know, after you move it X many times, it is it, it just doesn't carry. You can't do this, not at this scale here. So anyway, 
this company really did a good job. And this year, they have really, I, again, I think the print quality, they're doing something with their printers a little bit different because they definitely, like especially in shots, there's a handful of these shots where the, just the image quality is just really, it, they've leveled up a bit here, which says a lot because last year and the year before, their print quality was really well as well. Well as well. Anyways, I'm just gonna roll with it. But anyways, let's take a look at their scorecard. All right, friends, and there you go. This has been the 2022 uh, Snap Tile Photo Tile. Boy, Snap Tile Photo Tile. Try saying that a few times quick in a row. Uh, but it's been the Snap Tile Photo Tile review, uh, part of the shootout itself. Now, depending upon when you're watching this video, now I think I shared a few times earlier, or at least in the last video, we have three companies that were, we've basically taken the top three leaders in the photo tile industry. And we're basically doing this kind of shootout between these here. So depending upon when uh, you're watching this and we may have the third company down below and ultimately even the, the winner, the video that's gonna crown the winner itself. If you don't see it, just come back because it's we haven't released the uh, the, the two remaining videos yet, uh, which should be coming out here in the next handful of weeks regardless. But where I'm leading with this, if you wanna watch some of the reviews of some of the other companies that we have tested, uh, check out the description below. We'll have links directly to those as well. And of course, now, it's that time to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff. So this video was valuable because, of course, friends, we put these videos together so you can stay informed and get the best photo printing experience that your dollar deserves. Uh, so if you found some value, hit that like button. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you part of the family. And last but not least, be certain to hit that like and be certain to hit that bell. Boy, it's been a Hit that bell so therefore YouTube notifies you every time that we come out with a new video. That said, my friends, well, I'm going to be turning off that camera and that camera and getting out of my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.